Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. In today's vlog, we are on our way to Miami. So a little bit of background of this trip, I'm actually going with a lot of girls that I went to school with. The people that I already know or from my school are Emily Colleen, Nicole and Kathy and then we all brought our own friends and this trip is gonna be super fun There's nine of us girls total. We're going to Miami again. Sorry when I say again It's not that we've all gone to Miami together before it's more like I've already gone to Miami So we'll see how this one goes. I'm super excited. This is a really short trip We're only gone for four days So I'm excited to bring you guys along in the meantime I am currently waiting for my uber and I don't know what has been going on but every single uber I have called in the last two weeks has been taking so much longer to get here that I'm honestly wondering if I'm even gonna make baggage drop off but you know what I'm gonna be positive I believe I am so so we'll see anyway um I'm gonna be on my way to the airport and I'm gonna take you guys along to Miami hi guys update i finally made it to the airport and i have to tell you guys the most insane story so basically i get into my uber and the ride from my house to the highway okay not not to the airport to the highway took more than one hour so i was extremely extremely fucking late to the airport so i left my house at like 1 50 ish the baggage drop off time is at 3 10 and i didn't get to the airport until 3 30. if you guys didn't know um in canada or like through air canada the baggage drop off time is it used to be one hour before your flight and then it turned into 90 minutes very recently like I want to say like three weeks or four weeks ago but since i traveled before that i kind of knew about the change already but that being said when i actually got to the airport it was within the 60 minute window but definitely under the 90 because my flight is at 4 40 and i got to the airport at 3 25 basically so anyway i basically told the person like i was wondering if i can still check in my bag because i still am still technically 60 minutes and then I kind of pretended to not know that this had changed and I was like you know like I didn't know like I'm still within 60 minutes and she's like yeah, yeah yeah it's actually still like 60 minutes but we're really changing it to be strict 90 minutes now so she like went to see if she could rush it and thank god we rushed my luggage or else I would not have ended up on this flight then thanks to Nexus I went through security as well as customs and I caught up with two of the girls, Colleen and Brenda, even though they were maybe like 30 to 45 minutes ahead of me. So honestly, I was just like, first of all, bless Nexus and also bless this kind person. But also through this all, I think what I wanted to share, which as you guys know, if you have seen my previous vlogs before, I feel like I haven't done this exercise in a very long time, but I'm bringing it back, which is trying to figure out kind of like the goodness or like doing like therapy work through times when I'm just not mentally well because when I was in that uber initially and I knew in my head I was not going to make the luggage uh, drop off time I was so stressed out I was honestly just like in my head about to go crazy and then thankfully I was like talking to my uber driver and he really calmed me down I was just like just talk to me because um, I feel like if I was silent with my thoughts and I'd be absolutely fucked with my thoughts and just be so stressed and anxious but we ended up talking it out and I was like telling him I was doing my therapy out loud okay literally out loud to him I was telling him I'm like you know what like the work that I've done basically entails me going through the fact that like something like this is such a fortunate problem for me to go through there are so many bigger things in the world that's happening right now there's still war going on there is still like other countries and people just like going through a bunch of other things that are way bigger than me potentially missing a flight or my checked baggage to Miami on a girl's trip like that is such a blessed and fortunate problem so after kind of like going through these exercises and we were talking about like you know the bigger things in life and stuff honestly like by the time I left his uber I actually left with a huge smile on my face I gave my uber driver this big hug he actually told me he was going through depression um, and he needed to break up with his girlfriend to find some time and space for himself so we had like really deep talks and by the end when I finally arrived at the airport literally so late I didn't even care anymore I just honestly was like in such a better place and I realized I was like honestly this is such a good problem to have like 70 years from now I would not even remember this like this is just such a fortunate problem like if you tell me 
when I was a teenager that I would be going on a girl's trip to Miami, I'd be so ecstatic. And if you told me that this was one of the problems I had to face, and if I didn't make it into my flight today, I probably would still be like, okay, give it to me. Like, give me more. Like, I don't even care. So anyway, the point is that I wanted to share with you is that um, I am very lucky to have made it and my check luggage to have made it. But even if I didn't, I think I would have been okay because by the time I got off that Uber ride, I'm going to tip him well. I'm going to update him also in my note telling him I made my flight, my baggage got in and yeah, but it was just such a roller coaster and I'm so excited to show you guys this trip now. Going back to the girls, so I'm just going to show you guys. Say hi guys. Guys. Hi. Okay, everyone introduce themselves. This is Emily. Trixie. Oh, sorry, she's working. Trixie, Brenda, Colleen. If you watch my first vlog ever, it's still up on YouTube. The Milan vlog. I started it. <laughs> we went to exchange together. Yes, exactly. And yes. Oh wait, no, you don't like being called yes. Oh no, that's fine. We can go with yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's clarify on record. <laughs> yeah, so my parents call me Yasami. Okay. Okay, so what are we calling her on this trip? Let's just make a final decision. Like Yasmin is fine. I'm calling you Yas. Yeah, I'm calling you Yas too. Whatever you guys want to do. Yay, we are finally on our way. Wow. <laughs> I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? So Woo! I'm so excited. Oh my god, we haven't traveled together since New York? Milano. No, New York. Oh, wait. <laughs> I went to New York to visit you a long time ago. But that doesn't even count because you were living there. So we haven't yet, we haven't traveled. We're OG travel buddies. Yeah. was the most chaotic flight. Not that I witnessed anything because my music was so fucking loud. Everyone's on an escalator and M is just, she's built different. <laughs> she's literally built different. All right, we are here at our Airbnb-ish. I don't know, where where is it? So we didn't even get dropped off. Nine girls in one Airbnb. This is gonna be extremely chaotic. This is so classic Miami. Ah! My suitcase! Okay, this is our Airbnb. It is a huge! Oh my god! Which one's our room, Brenda? I think we should get that one. There's a washroom in it. Perfect. We're doing that one. Because we are sharing three per bed. Everyone's only two per bed. So we're getting the biggest room. Oh my god, wait, let me do a little room tour. Okay, what else? Oh, this, there's a bathroom here. This place is huge, you guys. This is one of the bathrooms. And then this is our room? Yeah. Oh my god. So cute. Oh, and we have our own bathroom. Yay. Amazing. We are currently on our way to dinner. We're having Italian right here. Ew. Whatever. There's our table, night one. The rest of our party is here. Oh, Nicole, say hi. Nicole just got here. Woo! This is Nicole. Yay! This place apparently has the best espresso martini and look at this okay yes give us a review that's good <laughs> no you can say it to the camera i say it all the time it's so good oh my god i kind of want one later too the only person with two glasses of wine that's fine whatever ladies cheers first drink of the night cheers this is a margarita glass this is not Dead. Oh yes, yes. Okay, we literally have it in tomato cans. <laughs> <laughs> the last two of the crew. They're, they're literally.
actually here with your suitcases. I'm actually dead. Hi, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Kathy. Oh my god. Hello. Look at this beautiful. Oh my god. Two for the table, of course. Oh my god. Yasmin, did you say Papa? Yes. <laughs> Are you guys ready for lights in your room? Hold on, for your life. Okay, nobody's paying attention. I'm paying attention. Wait, it's not, it's not a good angle. It's not a good angle. She's chewing. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, tomorrow morning, Friday. We actually don't have plans in the morning. <laughs> Our first, the, beach, the beach is eight minute walk from our place. Yeah. Right. First official plan. Versace Mansion. Yes. Woo! Right. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 4 p.m. We're on a boat until 7 p.m. Yes. After 7 p.m. 9 p.m. We are at Swan for dinner. That means we have two hours to get ready, ladies. Ladies. This includes transportation. <laughs> okay. And then after Swan. <laughs> We were at SLS for pregame. We're drinking until God knows what time. I think maybe until like four. And it's paid for. That was paid for. That was paid Okay, 2 a.m. We are at Liv. And we're at Liv. Once again, we got tables, bottles, whatever. That's pretty much it for Friday. Alright, fuck it. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. I'm surprised you even remembered all that. Oh yeah, also we're going to Walgreens to get snacks and eat. Tonight, tonight. Yeah, tonight. This is my seafood and Winnie, and it looks so good. And we have a dinner with the show. Yes, you're special. Love it. All the cameras are out, obviously. Wait, come back with the Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My favorite is that they're actually all Italian. Yeah. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh my god, and they both sit literally right beside me. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> This is the tiramisu, everybody. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh. Oh, I had no idea we were making it on the spot. This is unreal. Hello everyone, welcome to the first day of Miami. We just woke up in our Airbnb and the girls are getting ready. <gasps> Say hello, what are you Hi, doing? I'm getting my shoes. My <laughs> I'm dead. Eraser. Oh my God, that dress is from Dynamite. It is. Yeah, okay, I would like it. I know, I know. Okay, and then the rest of the girls are just all crammed in one bathroom getting ready. Very lit, very cute. Kathy's literally on the toilet doing her makeup. Just with a mirror right there. I'm dead. 
this is the situation and we all have our iced coffees in the bathroom. Hello everyone, we are currently on our way to the Versace Mansion, the Uber is called, and yeah, I was like, I'm sweating in this outfit, but it was really just around it with this bag, because it's fitting. Hey, I'm also reunited back with Kathy, say hi. Hey! If you guys didn't know, we went to school together and we also worked at Aritzia together. Trauma. Literal, Literal trauma. trauma. Anyway, where is the Versace Mansion? What is going on? This is so classic Miami. Just like... Oh, this way. Which way? This way. Okay. We are at the Versace Mansion. We are entering the Versace Mansion. This is what it looks like. This is beautiful. We got the set menu at the Versace Mansion. I'm gonna show you. This is our first course. Got the salad, the burrata salad. Some people got the Optimus Carpaccio. And our drinks are just so lit. This is the drink I got. It is the 24 karat bowl drink. It's very good. It's a margarita. Oh yes, baby. Me and M both got the lobster spaghetti. Obviously, look at this. Who could not get this? This is so good. This lobster spaghetti is very worth it. For Okay, so we just finished at the Versace Manor and now we came back home. We all changed into our bathing suits and today is a boat day. Boat day. Our Uber was very late, so now we are running to the boat because we have to go through this marina before the gate closes. Here is the boat, we made it. Yay! That was such a rush. Hello guys, welcome to another day. Oh my god, the camera is so weird right now. <laughs> welcome to Saturday in Miami. Squad's ready to go. We are also dead. What? We're also dead. <laughs> Keeping it real, you guys. We are on our way to coffee and tacos. We have survived last night. Um, I did not vlog every portion of last night because we were at a club, so I didn't want to bring my camera. But basically, we went to Swan for dinner, then we went to SLS for a pre, then we went to Story, where Sam Feltz actually played, and he has literally made it to my favorite DJ in the world for playing live sets, honestly. Like, all his music was really, really good. Off, we're going to Las Olas Cafe, I think that's right, I don't know. Okay, I am absolutely in love with this place. Like, look at how cute it is. You just order by the counter and this menu is lit. And the empanadas are $25. Yes. <laughs> they are sold out before we even come. Are you sure now? But we don't know. Hello guys, we finally got to be a lot shorter than I am. <laughs> We are at Tacos now. This is the restaurant. We're gonna get it to go. This is the indoors of this taco place. It's so cute. The girls are all here. We're just gonna stand and eat our tacos. Juice it. Oh, mama. Look at this. Wow. Hello. Oh, oh, these are our fish tacos. Then we've got the birria tacos. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna do a taste test for everybody. Kathy, where are you standing? I don't know. Do you want to be in the middle? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. 
She's kind of scared for me. Okay, for context, I forgot to bring my razor and there's some hair that kind of grew back. So Kathy is lending me her epilator and I'm using it for the first time, which is coming at a good time because I don't know if you guys saw all my Instagram stories. Someone sent me an epilator, like to my address and it wasn't like a PR company. So it was like a hint. What? Or something? No, literally, I, sent you that. I, just, I just got an epilator in the mail. And I even checked my Amazon. I was like, maybe someone like ordered it by accident in my family and like sent it to the wrong address. No, there were no orders in my Amazon history. So someone literally just sent me an epilator. I'm like, this is a I sign. get it. I will shave <laughs> or whatever. Okay. Oh, okay. You can do <laughs> this it. This is my first time. Cast you up. I'm done. Okay. How about just push it all the way up? Push like, it. oh, yeah, yeah, all the way up. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what the heck is so intense? <laughs> so we didn't do it for you. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Okay, you're doing it. Oh my god, yeah, it, it does hurt. It does hurt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this one. Do it a break. I think the best way is just to not look. I mean, just... you didn't even finish the other one. I <laughs> You're actually doing really well. Really? Mm-hmm. The other option is like plucking it one by one. No, what? I have a razor if you want to give up. Oh my god. Nope. I'm too deep in this process already. Okay guys, it's not too bad. I do have higher pain tolerance though, which I also realized. All right, we are now on our way to the beach. <laughs> I feel like every time you do it, I'm just standing in the back and I'm like, <laughs> okay. We are going to the beach. Finally. Yay. Yay. Wait, wait, wait. Which way to the beach? Is anyone? Let's go to the beach. Wait. Let's go get away. This is so nice. I'm so glad we're doing this. Oh. 